The Chrome OS Terminal is a super powerful tool, but it can seem daunting at first. In this video, I will show you some super useful information to help you become a terminal master. I would recommend watching this video right until the end because there is some stuff that you definitely don't want to miss. Let's get started. So when you first install Linux on your Chromebook, the terminal is the only app installed by default. To make life a little easier, you could install an app store, I made a video about that by the way, but today we will be only looking at the terminal. The three most important commands are sudo apt-get update, sudo apt-get upgrade, and sudo apt-get dist upgrade. These three commands keep your Linux apps, sources, and system up to date. If something is ever not working, try running these three commands in this order, and try again. Of course, updating stuff only matters if you have applications. Most applications are installed in one of two ways. Either you simply run sudo apt-get install name of package, or you first add a repository and then install the package. Generally, to figure out which to use for any said program, just google search name of program command line install. Then just copy-paste the commands. If there are multiple different versions of the commands, use the ones for Debian, as Chrome OS uses the Debian version of Linux. Speaking of copy-paste, pasting is a bit different in the terminal. Keyboard shortcuts won't work. Instead, just right-click or click with two fingers to paste. Before I knew this tip, I would manually type out every single command, which became very tedious after just a few commands. Of course, not all apps are installed through the terminal. Some need to be run through a file. If you want to run a .jar file, you first need to install Java. For that, run sudo apt-get install openjdk11jdk. Then, to run the .jar file, first make sure it is in the Linux files section, and then run java space dash jar, and then name of file dot jar. The .jar file should then open. Whenever you want to open it again, just run that same command. Of course, just typing the same command can be boring. So if you want to cycle through recent commands, just press the up arrow on your keyboard to go back through what you've just done. You can also press the down arrow once you've pressed the up arrow to cycle backwards. This is super useful for quickly navigating through your past actions. Of course, jar files aren't the only files that work as a program. There are also app images. An app image is a file that contains an entire application within it. To open it, first make sure it is in the Linux files section. Then, in the terminal, run chmod a plus x name of app image plus dot app image. This will make the image executable. Then, to open it, just type dot slash name of app image dot app image. And then the application should open. If it doesn't, that really sucks, but there probably isn't a solution, because Chrome OS Linux is just a bit buggy. Okay, so far this video has been a bit of an information dump. Hopefully you find it a bit useful though. I've left a document in the description with all of these commands if you would like to download it for yourself and copy paste. If you enjoy or appreciate this video, it would be awesome if you leave a like and subscribe. It really helps the video and the channel. We're not done yet though introducing the tab key. What the tab key does in the terminal is auto-complete file names. For example, if I only have one jar file and it starts with a letter, I can just type java-jar the first letter and hit tab. The entire name will then be auto-filled. Now this next tip is great if your Linux apps are malfunctioning. Right click on the terminal icon in the taskbar and choose shut down Linux beta. This will close everything you had open and terminate the Linux instance. Then you can just open the terminal back up and everything should hopefully be back to normal. One minor annoyance with the terminal is that whenever you hit the X button to close, you have to go through this dialog to exit. To avoid it, just type exit in the terminal and hit enter, and it will close without the dialog box. Alright, the final tip for this video is know when to just google it. If you have a question or problem, it is extremely likely someone else has experienced the same thing. A quick search of the internet usually yields the answers that you need. On that note, this marks the end of the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe, I really appreciate it. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.